Hello everyone, happy new year and today is the first day to work so I thought you know take Cybertruck today to work and see how it is like to drive on the roads and do some efficiency tests because I've been driving it around and testing it out with you know like light shows numerous times so that has te taken a lot of battery but I want to do it just solely for the mileage so we're gonna hit the road in some Texas style so I got my cowboy boots on and uh, let's take the charger out and let's hit the road so everything is at zero at the moment for the current drive and since charge because we are doing the new trip new drive the car has already sorry Cybertruck has 685 miles on it and I'm going to work it's about like 27 28 miles and i'm gonna have good idea about how it is like you know driving this car so i'm gonna be driving it in the uh comfort mode so it's gonna adjust the uh, suspension and it's gonna be more lifted and it's ready to drive so let's hit the road and swipe up to drive and i really appreciate you guys asking um you know the questions in the in the comment section it kind of helps me to make the content that you guys actually want to watch rather you know me blabbing about um, you know anything that comes to my mind so really appreciate that and also I have done a video where I drove this Cybertruck as an uber driver and uh, I mean uh, that uber rider was so happy first she was shocked but I just don't want to spoil it for you all I mean I just want to put the video out there but if you're really interested in that you really want to hit that subscribe button and uh, make sure to like this video so it can go to more people so they can learn about you know how it is like to drive the cyber truck as a daily driver i don't know if i'm going to be doing that every day i mean texas traffic is too much i drive about 27 miles every day each way uh, that's gonna be like 1500 miles if i drive you know for all the weekdays and thinking about you know driving on the weekend as well for long trips it's gonna put about like 2,000 miles uh, per month uh, to my truck so most probably I'm just gonna be taking the uh, Model Y and also I'm thinking about parking it outside because over the weekend my experience was that a lot of people uh, wanted to take pictures with it and some people would just touch I mean I don't mind but I can clean it but all the fingerprints that go around the truck um, because people will touch you know they just want to be like uh, oh what is this oh, is it paint or is it uh, what have you gotten it wrapped so there's so many questions from people that um, you get and l imagine leaving it unattended park a lot of people around it um, it kind of catches some uh, attention I'm like it's a good business idea you know you uh, bring this truck to um, you know a business parking lot and you know a lot of people just show up and that's what happened for the last two days when I was uh, when I was driving and the good thing is like I'm so adjusted to this back view mirror the digital one uh, that I don't feel like using it here but the thing is I have two Teslas uh, one has uh, you know the Model Y has the regular rear view mirror so now I'm looking here on the Tesla Model Y I should be looking here so it's just a little change and honestly when I drove my Model Y after driving this one I felt like I was driving a pretty small car. I mean, Tesla Model Y is really huge car. It has so much uh, cargo space. It's, it's, it's a good size. I think it's about almost Highlander size, if not, uh, you know, more than that. But it's almost there. But um, you know what? The car felt like so small and the steering wheel. I want to talk about the steering wheel. So on this one, steering wheel feels pretty... Um, you know easy to maneuver around I can make turns without you know giving it like a you know, full 360 or 180 it's pretty easy to handle this car this truck but when it comes to model Y, the steering wheel felt like so hard and now I realize that my brother-in-law came from California he drives the uh, Tesla Model S and he said that boy your uh, car is so stiff and I'm like, no, it's fine. So the thing is, when you start driving your own car, after like a couple of, uh, you know, like miles, you get used to it, you know? So I thought like, you know, Model Y is just fine. But now I realize that uh, it is actually pretty stiff. Okay, one thing that I want to talk about, I'm going at 62 miles per hour and there's a car next to me. Uh, you can see there's a Honda Accord. These people would usually take me over if it's the morning rush hour. But they're not doing that. Uh, I see that guy is recording the video and uh, that's what happens when you drive in the morning, you hit the road. Uh, 
in Texas, I mean, 65 is the speed limit. People usually go at 75. There's so much space they can go, the blocking. I feel like it's pretty dangerous to drive the cyber truck out there because uh, I see the guy is not paying attention and he is actually making the video. And now he decides to, okay, I'm done with my making my video, I'm gonna pass. Um, this has been normal since I started, uh, you know, driving it on the freeway, on the highway. And uh, wanted to share with you guys this experience, how it is. Now, I think after a couple of miles, we're gonna hit a really heavy traffic because where I'm coming from, uh, there's usually not a lot of traffic. But um, there's gonna be a couple of miles down when we're gonna see like a real deal. There's gonna be uh, a lot of traffic. And I usually drive it like this. I want to share this with you guys that I always drive it like this with uh, one hand right here at the top. Um, that's how I drive my Tesla Model Y. But I don't know what is it with this truck that it actually makes me wanna drive like this. It's more, I think, comforting for my hands to be like this here. And the way, you know, this straight here, this curve here and then the straight here, my hands can relax easily here. And that's how they want you to do, you know, when you go to the DMV, you take your driver license test, they want your hands to be on here like this, right? So yeah, on this truck, I like to keep it here and um, yeah, when the full self driving is gonna be out, most probably I'm gonna be holding it from down here at the bottom. But I usually listen to the music in the morning when I'm driving, but I'm not doing that because um, um, when the, I realize the YouTube, when the music goes into the, through the camera feed, um, you get a copyright strike for using the music. So. Yeah, I'm gonna need something to drink. This is literally my kids drink. Uh, <laughs> they drink it for the school in the morning. And I'm like, okay, let's just grab this. Get some energy for the morning. It's first day at work, first uh, day of the year for work. So happy New Year's to you all and uh, wish you all the best whoever watching this video. And uh, yeah, really, I mean, it's just about the experience. So uh, I'm glad that I'm able to take you guys to this uh, ride with me. So one thing I realized that you want to be doing when you're driving, uh, kind of like unique vehicle on the road that um, be really proactive because you don't know, uh, especially with the world of social media where people are making the videos from their cell phones uh, while they're driving, uh, it can get really dangerous uh, for you and for the other person who is driving the car and uh, making the video. So I had so many instances where I had to either like, you know, speed up and pass that person and, um, you know, just to try to get away from, you know, kind of situation where it could be worse. So just be careful when you do that on the road. Cause it's, I know everybody is excited about it, but just uh, be careful, you know, when you're recording the video, uh, you want to pay attention to the road. I see one thing that right now the uh, watt hour per mile is 549 because the battery is not heated up that much and it's winter so the temperature is about 47 degrees uh, Fahrenheit and uh, I don't know about conversion to the Celsius because some of the uh, subscribers are watching it from European countries outside US so uh, it's in the Fahrenheit so it's 843 a.m. 
and um, I have driven about eight miles and I see that the watt hour per mile is going lower and it should be lower because lower is better. If you have a higher number, that means that it's using more energy and then energy consumption is higher. So I see this number is consistently dropping. So when you start driving in the morning, uh, in the winter season, you might have a higher uh, consumption in the morning. But as soon as you know you go further, your battery is heated up because you're driving on the road. Uh, this is going to be um, dropping down really significantly. So uh, with my calculation, I think if it stays between 380 to 400 watt hour per mile, I'm going to get about like 295 or maybe about 300 miles. That's what I was getting, which is pretty good because Tesla advertised about 310 miles with the 35 inches uh, wheels that we have on the Cybertruck. So otherwise, if you have the regular uh, tires, it gets to 340 if I'm not wrong. Uh, correct me in the comment section if um, I think my mileage is pretty accurate there, the 340 uh, on the all wheel drive dual motor with the regular tires. And if you have the all terrain tires, and this is pretty impressive with the all terrain tires and the um, uh, you must have seen in the other videos too like the tires are massive i just wonder that um how much it's gonna cost i did a little math there are some tires available i don't know if they're ev related tires or not but they run about um 640 dollars uh, 650 dollars uh, for the for the price okay so with the new year the scam callers this is the one thing that i get every morning when i'm going to work um, I get the calls from um, you know the random numbers and um, that's my morning routine um, usually I'm grabbing coffee but today I wanted to grab this camera which is mounted on the, uh, the sunroof and uh, I was like let's steal what my kids bring so my apologies if this video is gonna be really long because I'm driving and I cannot have any control for my camera that this is mounted over here I'm gonna try to chop it in the edit but um, I don't know you guys want to see it full experience you know leaving from my house going to work or you guys want to see you know just the I mean I would say uncut version versus cut version where I'm just editing everything maybe with this you can see you know how it is I'm about to hit the traffic and uh, I can see all the red marks around here that means that's uh, morning rush hour and uh, yeah the heavy traffic is gonna be up ahead I might just keep driving and stop talking and let you guys you know listen to the music that sometimes is there and you can maybe speed up and uh, watch it at the you know the 2x something like that right now is at 495 watt hour per mile I think when I started driving it was above 600 watt hour per mile now it is going down and I have driven about 11 miles so I'm pretty sure the battery is heated up enough that the watt hour per mile is dropping and we are looking at consistently it is dropping to 4.99 cents charge in my average now it is 433 but don't count my trip for the full mileage for the consumption because uh, we've been camping in the car so the battery was used for not actually mileage for moving the car but just for fun you know we were uh, seeing the fireworks so one hour the truck was using energy so it didn't get anywhere but it still used the um, you know the energy so the energy is not gonna be accurate here so I wanted to calculate it when I'm actually leaving and reaching the work so it's gonna show you actual moving a watt hour per mile and uh, I'm driving it in the comfort mode before uh, I was driving it in the custom mode doing like you know relax or uh, sporty suspension, um, raised or high, so I was using lowered, uh, but right now I'm using it on default settings that's there. And um, yeah, it's going at the comfort, and I see the, the watt hour per mile has dropped significantly, so that's pretty neat. Okay, now this is where the traffic gets really worse. Uh, I'm hitting this road right here. If you are from Houston, um, the traffic from Cook to all the way to Sam Houston Parkway is usually a lot. 
but surprisingly I don't see like really heavy traffic some people will be like this is not even heavy traffic I think that is because it's first day of the year not a lot of people are back in the town um, I was expecting more traffic here but surprisingly there is not a lot of traffic because maybe people are still out on vacation they haven't come back yet um, so I think that's what is happening usually this is bumper to bumper traffic here uh, but it's good the first day is less hectic because sometimes I realize you know you're going to work in the morning and uh, there is so much of that uh, you know the uh, the hassle in the morning you're driving you're making sure that you don't get into an accident or you know you're trying to save yourself to get to work and that's a lot because imagine you do a lot in the morning when you wake up and you go to work your brain is just working like a supercomputer I mean it's more than a supercomputer but imagine driving every day to work in the morning worrying about you know somebody doesn't rear end you or you don't rear end someone because uh, it's bumper to bumper traffic so I think it's the best day to take out the cyber truck out there because it's not really crazy heavy traffic um, yeah I have a few people in the office I don't know if they're out or not and um, we'll have to see how busy it is but um, I should be reaching there within like nine minutes and uh, so far so good the watt hour has dropped to 479 watt hour per mile and uh, I haven't cut anything or just a straight video where it's showing you the consumption. So far I can tell you that when I'm on the road uh, going uh, in this lane, a lot of people are making the video of it while they are in the left lane. So that's one of the things that you, uh, you get. I mean I'm driving so slow in front of this uh, Kia that is behind me right here. Uh, usually if I'm this slow, uh, I'm on the speed limit 65 miles. 62 miles an hour on a 65 usually people would go you know change the lane and take over because uh, I mean that's pretty easy to do it I mean you don't want to follow somebody unless you're driving a cyber truck so uh, that is pretty neat okay I'm approaching the exit just for the uh, privacy I'm not gonna show you guys my workplace because uh, you know I don't know about the policies and all the world we live in so I'm not going to show you guys uh, when I'm pulling up to my work, but at least closer so you guys can uh, see me, you know, maybe, you know, getting closer. But it's just on the left side, so I'm going to have to make this left. Um, this left is uh, usually pretty packed because there's this freeway light, the Sam Houston tollway is pretty busy. So this light is there for a really brief moment. It turns green and then, you know, you just go through it. But I mean, I think I should do this as a live video so you guys can ask questions and I can mount the camera somewhere in the front so I can read your comments. So um, just pardon me if you guys think that, you know, I still need to improve. I really appreciate the suggestions in the comment section. I really like that 99.9% .9 of the people out there on the YouTube comment section that I see are really amazing. They're pretty great people. Um, and um, they have good stuff to say so I, I really like that that people are doing that I'm gonna give them some way because it's one lane only in the front but if I want to show you guys overview these are all the cameras that that you can see there's so much construction going on you can see that uh, on the right side so there's only one lane usually I don't take this route because there's so much traffic so there's only one lane and uh, this is usually three lanes but they have closed the two lanes for construction and it's just only uh, one lane open so when it is like really busy day everybody's back in town there's no way I'll be able to you know get to my work easily so I avoid this and try to take you know the um, the regular back streets not the freeway feeder Okay, so just uh, bear with me for a couple of more minutes. This is my first drive ever uh, to the work. Um, I'm, I don't have the garage parking, so I'll have to park it outside in the open, in the sun. So it's not even sunny today, but you know what I mean. It's gonna be parked outside. So I don't know if it's gonna catch any 
um, attention and it's gonna get some you know I don't know if it is the something that I want to do every day just trying to you know avoid uh, the unnecessary like you know it's this car is like a magnet and you guys saw that in the beginning that how the Las Vegas uh, the souvenir that mag magnet that I have was able to stick on the car that's how this has been I mean uh, my new year this has been the best new year ever I was able to let people you know see it take pictures see it from inside because a lot of them are saying that uh, at the service center they cannot see uh, inside um, they just allow you to you know walk around can uh, go closer and I know the reason because if they don't want you to keep touching or put fingerprints on the truck but uh, I mean that's how it is um, you know so people were like hey can we can we see it inside I uh, I let them do it because you know uh, you want to make somebody's happy new year happy new year so that was the experience i mean it will just start a carnival you know you go anywhere there are people that show up and i mean i love talking with people a lot of people had questions so i clarified those questions um some of them asked me how much uh, mileage per gallon does it do and i mean uh, you don't have to laugh at somebody like that asking you a question like that because honestly a lot of people don't know because it doesn't say tesla anywhere it doesn't say cyber truck anywhere outside and not everybody is there uh, on social media always you know uh, there are a lot of people just keep it to their business and keep the nose you know out of everybody's uh, life and they don't know what it is so if they have a genuine question like that and they really appreciate it when I told them about you know this is electric and it's a truck it's bulletproof a lot of people were so like happy and uh, they were amazed, anxious, and they wanted to ask questions, and uh, I really love that. I mean, I feel like, yeah, you live only once, and you getting that kind of attention felt like celebrity for two days, where people are doing this, and they're, they're waving at you, taking out their phones. So, yeah, if you ask me if it is worth it, uh, definitely it is. I mean, I have driven so many other trucks and cars, never had... Uh, this kind of uh, experience before and uh, to be honest driving is just about experience um, That's why you buy your cars. Otherwise you can buy any car and it will take you from point A to point B So as soon as you get out of that, it's all about the experience and uh, this has been one hell of experience uh, and um, Yeah, I'm so excited and uh, but I want to get to work and you know start working and um, Hopefully it's gonna be a good start of the year and uh, for all of you too i'm gonna just have to make um, a left turn because the u-turn was closed because of the construction and that's about it guys i have reached my work and uh, i'll see you guys in another video until then peace out okay so i have reached my work and uh, as you guys can see the stats i have driven it for 16 miles and uh, seven kilowatt hour was used and it was on heat because i wanted to use that because temperature was 47 degrees so i was running the ac at 70 degrees and battery was pre-conditioning and all and 453 watt hour per mile so i wanted to share with you guys this when the drive ended because i was realizing the whole time when i was driving the camera was not showing that clearly because pretty tiny when you're looking at you know the wide angle but uh, these are the stats when I got to work. I drove it for 16 miles. Some, I, I realized that it was gonna be more than that, maybe 27, but it's 16. Uh, maybe like 20. I thought it was gonna be like uh, 27 miles, but it's just 16 miles. Maybe like I have to get over the Happy New Year celebrations now. And uh, yeah, it's uh, 16 miles. I was thinking about my other location. I never did that because you know how muscle memory you just go to your work without using navigation so uh, I used to go to another location where I was before that was 27 miles so that was in my head and early morning so my apologies for that so I've driven it for 16 miles uh, I'll drive more around because I have to go for some meetings and I'll update you guys for you know the more mileage when I gain driving for throughout the day and then going home so you'll have the idea like how much do I drive total for the day and then you guys can see how much i've driven and how much is the watt hour per mile consumption on it so that's all i have from this video guys i'll see you in the other one until then peace out 
Okay, so this was the result for today. I drove 72 miles, ended up driving and uh, going further down the city and ended up getting really good mileage out of the truck. So uh, that's about it, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in another video. Until then, peace out.